Hey guys, have you ever wondered how much it costs to set up a public EV charging station? Well today we'll run you through the costs for both the hardware, the software and the installation for AC and DC charging. What you'll find is most people install home chargers at their houses, but it's becoming much more of a necessity to have public charging infrastructure in shopping centres, in regional locations and towns to be able to help increase the adoption of electric vehicles in Australia. So today we'll run through AC charging. What you'll find is typical units that are wall boxes or freestanding units cost between $1,800 to $7,600. The software that helps manage and monitor and bill people for using the charger costs that $280 per year mark per port. And then lastly is the installation costs. This is pretty important and is what can help inflate the cost for your overall project. So it's important to try to reduce these through things like installing the charger close to the switchboard and reducing civil works where possible. The costs for that range from $5,000 all the way up to $10,000 per AC charger. Awesome, and what we've got here is our powerful DC charging range. This is our Ocular Atlas series. What you'll find is they have thicker cables, LCD screens, but much larger power modules inside to provide that rapid charge to your EVs in under 60 minutes. The typical costs for the hardware range from everywhere from $20,000 all the way up to $80,000 mark. Uh, software per port costs $500 for that monitoring, tracking and billing for everything over a 60 kilowatt DC charger. Under 60 kilowatts, it's $280 per port. And then lastly, in terms of installation. So this can vary, but typically you'll find that it's between $10,000 to $30,000 mark. But again, just make sure to reduce civil works and concrete cutting. Make sure you have enough power at the site so you don't have to do upgrades. And then lastly, making sure that you install the charger next to the switchboard to reduce costs. Lastly, what I want to touch on is the ROI or return on investment for you. So putting an AC or DC charging station at your site can help improve your brand image. It can also increase foot traffic to your site over other sites that don't have EV charging. And then lastly, you can earn actually revenue off these charging stations. DCs we're finding has that quick turnaround time and the ROI has a shorter period, whereas AC charging is more about bringing them to your destination where they sit down, they provide more revenue back through the actual business itself over the charging station. As always, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.